In this video, we're going to get the player to shoot a bullet, which is actually a reasonably complex thing to do. First thing is we need a bullet to shoot, so I'm just going to create a sprite, as per usual, and I'm going to create a big blob, and really important to set the collision polygon. If you don't set the collision polygon for a bullet, you'll be very annoyed, because it will seem like the bullet is missing you, but actually it still hits you. So we'll make that the right size and name it appropriately let's call it a bullet and we'll add a behavior to it surprise surprise it's a bullet behavior and what this bullet behavior does it just sets it off in one direction speed 400 pixels per second and we can have no gravity and so on now what we will find is that always heads from left to right in this direction because that's the zero degrees direction in Construct 2 and it goes around this way. So if I wanted the bullet to go straight down, I'd say its angle to be 90 degrees. That way is 180 straight up to 70. Let's just have a quick look at how that appears in practice. Fire the bullet. Off it goes. Um, but I can't fire any more bullets. I just have that one bullet there. And in fact, I don't even want this initial bullet. I only want it to... Um, shoot when I begin. So I'm just going to take that bullet and drop it off over here. And then I need it to be that when I press a key, a bullet is created. And in order to listen for key presses, I actually need to add another object in here. And for the first time, it's not a sprite. It's actually a keyboard. We only need one keyboard per project. Uh, and as you'll notice, I've added the keyboard. Nothing has actually appeared here. It's only appeared in this uh, Project Explorer over here. So back to my event sheet. I'm going to add an event, which is going to be a keyboard on key pressed event. And choose my key. Spacebar is good for shooting. And when that key is pressed, the player is going to spawn another object, which is going to be a bullet. Done. Hit play. And yeah, that kind of works. Seems to be working quite well. Except that even when I'm going left, it's still shooting right. So we're going to do some more stuff with keyboard events to make this happen. Um, one of the things you, you'll notice is that the player actually always seems to be facing right, even when he's going left, which looks a bit bad. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone here. We're going to add an event, again a keyboard event, and we're going to look for key pressed. And the key pressed is going to be the left arrow. So when the left arrow is pressed, our player, we're going to set to be mirrored. So he's going to flip along the vertical axis. And we also need to do the same thing for the right. So I'm just going to go Control C, Control V, and then just modify these. So this is going to be our right arrow and this is going to be set not mirrored done so we we'll just check that that behaves as we expect so as i go right left yep that's pretty amazing uh, still shoots the bullet the wrong way so we're now going to fix this we're going to do bullet and on created these are often really useful events so when a thing is created we can say right just do this ob action or check for this thing or whatever and on created, actually we need to check for another thing. When it's created, we're going to add another condition, which is if the player is mirrored. So when the bullet is created and also the player is mirrored, then bullet, we're going to set its angle to be 180 degrees heading in that opposite direction. That may well work. Let's try it. Shooty, 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 shooty. Happy with that. I'll do for one video. Quite a lot of complex stuff in there. 